Alright, hey guys, um, it's Duke, founder of Developers Academy, and today is our second code hangout. We will learn about how to record and replay audio in iOS. And here's the agenda for this one. And again, I thank you so much for you guys watching this. And I know a lot of you guys are in different time zones. So if you miss this, I will post a replay of this code hangout on the blog for you guys. Okay. And um, so in its here's the agenda for this this one and the first thing i want you to go and download the star project right down below okay whenever you find this code hangout and today we will talk about the av foundation av foundation is a lot um, there's a lot of thing in this one but we just talk specifically about av audio recorder and av audio player and you can see from the name of this alone it's the AV audio recorder is to record audio and the AV audio re player is to play the audio okay and then we will record in the audio and replay it and after that we will have some q a and today we have two students up from developers academy is live with us and the first guy is uh foisal and um the goal is her gang we have two students here online and if you guys want to join me I uh, usually I will invite 10 uh, 5 to 10 students live with me so next week I will invite some more online okay so let's record something and go to the starter project and we'll start diving into this so before we doing anything further I want to show you the complete project okay so this is the complete project and um, you look like it's incredibly like um, the iMessage app but in fact this is just a prototype okay the images and the bubbles messages below this is just a image okay because what we want to focus on right now is just this block over here to just record it and then we'll replay it okay and um, maybe And um, now maybe you want to uh, question how should how we can build this project like how we can build can we build some project just like the iMessage app and the answer is yes and um, for you to at developers Academy we have a course called how to build an instant messaging app okay, it's a little bit advanced and um, Faisal asked me later that, that um, he wants to learn about iOS database and things like that and that course you will learn a lot about how to use parse as a backend service you use parse as a database and it will process a lot of code for us okay you don't have to write database code parse will do the things for us and we will build a social networking apps and we'll build the iMessage app okay so to and that app is huge so we just have less than one hour to work on this project so we want just want to focus on how to record the audio and replay it so here's how it works okay so when i click into this red button and we can start uh, record audio yeah we can start record audio and then when we maybe we're gonna pause right here okay i just pause it and then i would start recording again and again and again and we can stop here okay and then we will have a message called we just finished recording and i will maybe just put it like this so i replay it oops I think I just have to close some windows. All right. All right, and then I will start playing the record I, we just recorded. And we can start uh, record audio. Yeah, we can start okay. record audio. And then when we... And we can pause we it can, like this. And we can, and we can start, and we can start uh, okay. record audio. Yeah, we can start record audio. And then when we... Maybe All right. I would start recording again and again and again. And we so now let's jump into the star project and we'll learn how to do this, okay? And um, you guys open the star project. Okay. In this star project, we just have a bunch of code I pre write for you, just some trivial code, okay? And let's open the main dot storyboard and we'll see how what do we have over here. In the main dot storyboard, 
we just again this is just an image and I apply auto layout on some of these images okay this is each of these is an image view which is an image and again an image can detect the user interaction like the tap gesture okay we can tap onto that and we will send a method into that tap gesture so this one it can act just like a button all right so we have three buttons the first one is the play button the stop button and the record button cool so when we go to the view controller which is the only class we were dealing with in this project and I connect three IB outlets into this project IB outlets is the thing that you connect from the UI to code and in the view controller you can change the content or the properties of that UI in your code All right cool okay and now before we uh, write any code I just want to tell that usually you just have import UI kits so in order to use the AV foundation you have to import AV foundation also okay AV foundation is the framework and it powers all kinds of things for us and we focus on AV audio recorder and AV audio player so in order to record uh, the audio we have we need an instance of the IV audio recorder up here okay so we declare an instance of IV audio recorder this one is to record audio and another instance of audio player and this one is to um, play the audio all right so that is that when we um, in your project if you want to record an audio or replay audio you have to declare first import the AV foundation second uh, declare two instances the first one is AV audio recorder the second one is AV audio player all right and now let's go into the view did load view did load is the method when your view is loaded then this method gets called okay the first thing is we just um, add three gesture recognizer tap gesture recognizer into these images okay so that when we, whenever we tap into the button then we can detect those things and we send the target which is self which is this view controller and the action is play cancel or record okay so when we tap onto the play button the cancel button or the record button then we will send these three functions these three methods okay and we'll implement those methods so the first thing in the view did load let's disable the stop and the play buttons when we start because when we just started when the view just loads we just started then we don't have anything to play neither we don't have anything to stop so let's this um, let's um, disable these stop and play buttons so I will start to do it by using this function configure image view image view image view okay and we change the alpha and an image view has the user interaction enabled property and that one it will decide whether when we tap onto that if the user interaction enabled is true then when we tap into this image view then it will detect that this gesture recognizer okay otherwise then it will just uh, disable that so when we want to disable the stop and the play button that's why we will do self dot config configure image view okay and we'll call that method so we want to disable the stop button so stop um, it is called cancel button image view and we want to change the alpha into 0.5 so that is, is a little bit blur okay it is like um, disabled and then the user interaction enables is false okay and next we want to do the self dot configure image view and we will put it as um, play button image view and the alpha is 0 0.5 and again this is false so that we can disable that okay and Ter has a question um, is these two instance are optional right so um, the reason why these things are optional is because um, we now 
let's say I want to change this into not optional, okay? So if I change this into not optional, then a view controller is a class. Then it will require us to write an initializer for this, okay? So we we want to make it optional so that we know that this can be nil. An optional, it's uh, basically it's a, a struct. It means that it has two values, two kinds of values. The first one is nil. The second one is some value, some raw value. Okay. So let's say um, we want uh, we have an int and an int optional means that it can be nil or it can be some number. It can be uh, three, five, one hundred, one thousand, and that is an that is an um, int optional, right? So, um, for example, uh, ask that what is the difference between the question mark and this? Okay, it's there is not all difference at all because um, this question mark and the um, and the exclamation mark, it both of those are optional. Okay, both of those are optional, but the first one. This, uh, if you do the AV audio recorder um, exclamation mark, it is implicitly ungrabbed optional. Okay, it means that it can be nil, it can be some values, but when you use those, you don't have to ungrab those. What do I mean by ungrab? So let's say just in the video load, I just want to type some method. Okay, I will call audio recorder, and again, this one is ungrabbed already okay and we want to call something like pause okay just some dummy code so would you see that when we use this audio recorder it already ungrabbed okay then we pause we don't have to ungrab those and for this one it is optional then when we do this audio player okay dot pause okay then it says that a pause like this and we will get an error because this is optional. Then whenever we want to use that, we have to ungrab it like this. Okay. And um, so sometime next week, maybe on um, fri uh, Friday or something, I will post a course called Optionals in Swift. So that will explain a lot of things for you about optionals, everything you need to know about optionals. So I, I know that a lot of you guys ask about optional, so there will be a specific cost for optional, okay? So let's get back into our project. And good questions, by the way, all right? So um, after we display, disable the stop and the play buttons, we want to set, set up the audio recorder and audio player. So I will, I will call this method, okay? This method is the setup audio recorder and uh, record. And it doesn't have any code yet, just some dummy comments so that you know what we are going to do something. So we will call setup audio recorder. And again, we are still in the view did load. Okay. And we will call that setup audio record. And that is the method we are going to work next. So the first thing we are going to do in this setup audio record is we will have to set up the audio file. An audio file. It's just uh, a simple file in your pro in your app, okay? Um, if you go with, like, so let's say you are using your Mac, and the Mac you can create a new folder, okay? You can create a new folder in each folder you have a file, so in each file it has a directory URL and a file URL, okay? And that is the thing we will create that uh, first. So we have a directory URL, and we'll call the NS file manager dot default manager and then we'll call okay so this ns file manager will it allows us to access all kinds of things with the file manager the default manager and we'll call the method urls for directory okay here we'll have to specify the directory and this is the ns search path directory wait a minute ns search path directory dot um, document you are wait path directory um, dot whoops <laughs> dot 
dot comment directory. Okay. And in the domains, we actually need the domain which is NS search path directory. Actually, it is NS search path domain mask dot user domain mask. Okay. And then we will call that first. Now, I know that this code is a little bit complex. Now, we just, but don't get to like into the details. All we have here is a directory of a file. Okay, we ask iOS for a directory or a URL of a file. Okay, and then after that, we will have the audio file URL. And then we'll call directory URL dot URL by appending path component. And then this one, the component, this guy, we just have to name our audio file. And maybe you want to do like uh, my memo dot m4a okay m4a is the extension of this file okay and then after that after we set up we have the url of the file then we will set up the audio session now what is an audio session an audio session it acts like the middleman it acts like the thing that works between you and the system media services so Let's say you are playing iPod, you are playing the music. So the audio session, it will know that something is, some music is playing in the background. And when you want to record some audio, it will stop that music playing in the background for you to record the audio. Okay, so let's have an audio session. So we have let's audio session equals AV audio session dot shared session okay so we have a shared session of the IV audio session all right and now next we want to um co we want to allow us allows the audio session to record and replay the audio so we want to call the audio session dot set category so for this set category we we'll use the uh, category with option. The category we use is AV audio session category play and record. So we allows us to play and record the audio. And the option in this one is AV session category option dot default to speaker. So we can use the default speaker to record this guy. Okay. And the minute when you write this line of code, you see that I scored yell to us because now this one it says that can throw but it's not marked as try and the error is not handled. Now the reason for this is that this method it can fail it can fail. Okay, maybe the speaker is not available. Maybe the device the speaker is false something. So this one it will throw us an error. Okay, usually in Swift 1.2 or something, it will pass in an instant, a an pr uh, parameter of NS error over here. But we are using Swift 2, so we have to throw and catch the error. Okay, and if you wonder about how to use error catching, about error handling in Swift 2, watch with the first code hangout. We'll learn about error handling in Swift 2. So for this one, we will call try. Okay, try is the new keyword in Swift 2. What it does is we want to try this code. Um, what we want to do this code, okay? This is do. Want to do this code, and inside do we want to try, okay? Just try this one. I know that there will be some error, so just try it. Then I will catch this error, okay? The catch error, and want to let an error. So we have an instance of the error here, okay? So we will do this. And then we will catch the error, and maybe over here we just print print the error. Okay. So after that, now this maybe sound like uh, it's a little bit confused when you just first get used to error handling in Swift two. So all it does is it asks, it tells Xcode to do this, and then you catch the error. Okay, only there's just that. 
okay? And before we're doing that, we need to define the recorder setting, okay? So before this block, sorry, after this block, we had to define the recorder setting. So I will do let recorder setting, and that is AV format ID key. Now this is an uh, it, this is a dictionary. So we will define some key and some value pairs. Okay, this is a key, the AV format ID key, and we have to spe specify the int. The value of that is int k audio format and pick. Okay. So the value is K audio format MPEG for AAC, just the type of the audio file. And then the next key is AV sample rates key. Okay, we have to specify the rate, which is 100.0. Okay, this is just some audio technical stuff. And then we have to specify the AV number of channels key. AV number of channel key. Okay, so we have the AV sample rates key, which is this guy, and we specify the number of channels, and that is two, and we'll cast that as an S number. Okay, because this um, this guy over here it will require an NS number. Okay. And next. We have to initialize, we have to initiate and prepare the recorder. And that thing we want to, again, we want to make a do block, okay? And then we will do audio recorder equals, we want to try AV. Okay, again, try because this one, it will throw us an error. So we have to specify an URL and that is audio file URL. This audio file URL is exactly this audio file URL that we just created. Okay. And then the settings, the settings in this one is exactly this recorder settings that we just create. So we'll do recorder settings. Okay. Next, we want to um, maybe you want to use this view controller as the delegate of this audio recorder so that we can detect some of the events happen to this recorder. Maybe things like the um, record the recorder just pause, the record just start to recording, or the recorder finish recording. So we can do recorder dot delegate equals self. Okay. And then I will use optional chaining over here. Okay, I will uncomment this one because we haven't used we haven't um, used the delegates of this one first, but later on we'll use that. Okay, and next we want to use the metering in the boat. So we'll audio recorder dot metering in the boat, and we'll cast that as true. And this metering in the boat, it is a boolean value that indicates indicates whether an audio level metering is in the boat. Okay, and then. We want to call audio recorder dot prepare to record. So we prepare to record this one. Okay. Now, when we call the prepare to record, it doesn't record yet. Okay. It just prepare the audio. We just re prepare it. Okay. Whenever we want to record it, we have to call a method, and it's called guess what? It's called record. All right. So this one is just prepare everything that we need. Just prepare the device to start recording, okay? And then we have to catch the error again for this try thing because it is, maybe this URL, it doesn't exist. So we have to catch the error from this AV audio recorder. And that is catch, let's error. And then we want to print the error. Okay. Okay. 
All right, next, we want to go to the record method. And for this record method, we have to do four things. The first one is if we have to stop the audio player before we're recording. So when, if we are playing some sound or we are uh, playing some music in the background, we have to stop that, okay? And then next, we have to, if we are not recording, then we start recording. So if we are recording, then we will pause the recorder. Okay, so first let's stop the audio before we record anything. So I want to, um, I want to check if the let player equals audio player. Okay, want to make sure that we in initialize our audio player, and then we want to check if the player is playing. So if we are playing this player, then we will call player stopped okay after that we want to do the um, okay we will stop the player and when we stop the player maybe you want to change the image of this play button okay dot image and we'll change the image into something like UI image named and that is play and we don't allow user interaction in this one. So first, we want to ungrab this player, audio player, because it is optional, right? So this is uh, audio player ungrabbed. And we want to check if the audio, if the player is playing the audio, then we want to stop that and we'll change the image, okay? And we'll disable the in user interaction. So after that, we want to, if we are not recording, then we will start recording. So we want, again, we want to ungrab the audio recorder. If let recorder equals Okay, so if the recorder is not is not recording, so if the recorder is not recording, then we want to start recording. Okay, else uh, we are pausing the recorder. Okay, so else we have a else block here. This means that we are recording. Let's pause it. Okay, so we, you have the, um, let me, what is that? Memo over here. So whenever we record this guy and we pause it, okay, then we can start recording once again. So inside this block, we want to start recording. So I have a do block again because I know that this one, it will throw an error again. So I want to catch the error. So do, and we have the audio session, and that is AV audio session dot shared session, shared instance, okay? And then we want to try the audio session dot set active, and we want to set active to true, so we want to make the recorder work, okay? Just start making it work. And then we'll start recording over here. Recorder dot record okay so this method recorder dot record it will record starting recording your voice over the speaker all right and then after that maybe you want to change the image of the record button image view so we can do some show some kind of like we just start recording you can pause it now you can um, cancel the recorder okay so we can do record button image view dot image We want to change that into image with the name of start recording. Okay. And then we want to change the um, record button image view. We want to enable, enable that. So we want to call self.configure image view. And that is record button image view. Alpha is 
1.0 user interaction enable is true so we want to enable this record button image view okay Okay, uh, for that, he asked that why do I use let not var? Var is for variable. When, whenever you want to change something, want to declare an instant um, a variable, it means that you can change the value of that. Okay, a let is a constant. So it's just that let's, with let you cannot change the value of that. Okay, and in fact, in Swift, uh, it is recommended that if you think that you want to change the value of that, then use variable. If you do not change the value, then use let. Okay, it is more efficient when you use let if you don't change things like that. Okay, so next we want to catch this error in, in here. So we want to catch and again, we'll just simply just print this error into the console. Maybe in the real app when you use this um, function, uh, when you use want to use this, uh, functionality maybe you want to do something more sensitive like uh, you can display an uh, um, error message an alert view or something okay in here we just print out the error in the console okay so if we are not recording then we start recording else we are recording okay else we are recording so let's pause it now to pause and recorder it is very simple you just have to call the recorder dot pause and that is that okay so recorder dot pause and whenever we pause the recorder we want to change the record button image into your image named and that is record okay so that is that for this block. So again, if we are not recording, then we will start recording. Just simply set the audio session into active and then we will start recording and we change some of the images. Okay, if we are, we are recording, then we will pause the recorder. So after that, now next we want to enable the cancel button image view what it means is when we recording something we want to the user to be able to cancel cancel the record right so let's cancel that so we can do self dot configure image view and that is cancel button image view alpha is 1.0 user interaction enables is true okay and we also want to disable the play button and that is self.configureImageView. So we want to disable, so let's use alpha is 1.5, 0 0.5. And user interaction enabled is false. So that is that. Now let's work on the cancel method. So when the user click into the cancel method, like this one, we can cancel the audio. Okay, so let's work on that. Here it is, our cancel method. First, we want to change the record button image view. Our image into UI image named, and that is record. Okay. And next, I want to enable the play button image view. So let me make a comment over here. And self.configure image view. And that is play button image view. Alpha is one. User interaction enabled is true. Okay. So when we um, enable this play button, then we want to stop the audio recorder because this method is cancel so we want to stop the audio okay 
Now guess what? In this one, we just have to call audio recorder dot stop. Okay. And the question mark over here, it means that I'm using optional chaining. It means that maybe this one is nil if we do not properly instantiate that. Okay. If, if it, this one is nil, then this method will never be called. This stop method will never be called. All right. So next, we want to deactivate the audio session. So we recall that in the record method, we can when we start recording, we set the audio session into active. Now when we cancel that, we have to deactivate the audio session. And to do that, again we have a do block, and this is try av audio session dot shared instance. And we'll set the active into false, okay. And again, I will catch the error by just print 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 that. Okay, next let's jump into the play button. So when the user click into the play button, then we want to play the audio. And this time we want to use the audio player, right? Um, with the cancel method and the record method, we just using the audio recorder because we want to record the audio or we want to cancel the audio. Now we want to call the play, uh, the play method. And first we want to just grab the recorder equals audio recorder okay so we have to check if the recorder is not uh, recording okay if the recorder is not recording then we want to uh, try to do something so if the recorder is not recording then first we want to grab out the audio player so that we can stop playing the audio and that is try AV audio player. Okay, I will use the um, constants contents of URL, and this URL is record recorder dot URL. Okay, we instantiate an instance of the audio player over here. And next, we want to just call the audio player dot play so we are playing the audio yay <laughs> so if we are playing the audio then we want to change the play button we want to enable that and change it into the image maybe cancel so we can cancel the audio image view dot image that is ui image and the name is cancel so you have to be really careful over here because um, don't misspell that okay and then we want to set the play button image view dot user interaction and that is true okay and next we want to dis disable the cancel button Alpha is 1.5, 0 0.5 again, and the this one is false. So when we are playing stuff, we want to disable this cancel button. Cool? And because this one is do try, then we want to catch the error. And we want to print the error over here. Okay, so um, this should be good for us to give it a try. So let's run the project to see how it looks like. And let's see if we can um, start recording and playing some audio.
All right, so here's our project. So let's um, click into this button and we can record something. Okay, here we go. We will record something and we can cancel that. Okay, when we cancel that, this play button is enabled. So we can enable and start playing the mute. Record something. Okay, okay. or we can record pause some, it. Record something. Record something. All right, okay. and here clearly we, we have we have some error here because when we play that, we cannot um, we cannot pause the pause the audio. Okay, so um, so let's figure it out. So let's go back into the play method and we'll fix this error. Now in the play method, we just check if we are not recording or not. If we are not recording, then we will play the audio by create an instance of the audio player and then we will play the audio okay so what happened when we are playing the audio when we are playing the audio and we click into the play button or at that time it will be the cancel button then we want to cancel we want to stop playing the audio so let's do that so i will ungrab this and like if let player equals audio player okay and then we want to check if the player dot playing if the player is playing then indeed we want to player dot stop right so when we stop the player when we stop the player we stop playing the audio then maybe we want to change the button into play again so that the user can continue to play the audio that is UI image named and this image is play okay but here's the important thing because now if we complete this it is not all because if this block is executed then this one um, this one it will stop the player right after this if statement it will jump right into this so we continue to play the audio that's why we cannot pause it and every time we click pause every time we click into the cancel button then it will replay the audio once again because we just click into that we will just execute this once again so that's why here we just have to return we will return back get out of this method and that should be good to go now let's run the project to see how it looks like Okay, let's try to record something and indeed we'll record something. Cancel that. Okay, and then we want to play this. And we can pause that. We can play this again. We can pause it. That's great. So next, let me show you um, how to use a delegate. How to use the AV audio player delegate. Okay, and first I'll ask what is a delegate, right? So now, a delegate with um, a de let's say you are um, um, let's say you are this view controller okay and you this view controller is using the recorder delegate and the delegate it means that when the recorder records some audio what happens to the recorder it will report back to this view controller as a means of method it will call some methods in this view controller so that's what we're going to do with in below here and that is IV audio recorder um, player delegate so I will make some space over here and to do this I will have an extension over here extension and we will extend the view controller okay and we will conform to the AV audio player delegate. The method we want to care about in this one is the audio player that finished playing. So audio player that finished playing. And for this one is so for this audio player that finished playing, we have an instance of the player. And we have an instance of the successfully flag. Okay, so when this um, when this finish playing, then this flag will be true. So we want to set, check if the flag is true. 
then we want to maybe just put some alert into the view controller so self alert and the title we want to use finish playing okay the message is finish playing the recording and after that we want to change the image of the play button so play button image view dot image and that is ui image the name is play okay and with the audio recorder delegate we can also have a delegate for this audio recorder and to do that we have another extension and that is view controller and that is AV audio recorder delegate okay so for this delegate it can handle things like audio interact interruptions so let's say you are recording something and some phone call appears someone calls you and that or some messages or some notification and that is a um, um, audio interruption okay or this delegate can inform you about we just complete recording the audio so for this one we will call the audio recorder did finish recording so we want to check if the flag again this one also have an instance of the recorder and it can check the flag so if we just successfully uh, recording the, the audio then again let's just put some alert into here okay self the alert and the title is finish recording and the message is successfully recorded the audio all right and just that but now in order to use those two delegates we have to assign this view controller this view controller to be the delegate of the audio recorder and the audio player and to do that we'll jump back into um, this one okay the setup audio record and that is we have a comment over here so let's uncomment that so we we'll set the audio recorder dot delegates to be self okay so we we'll assign delegates of this guy to be self Okay. and also in the play method in the play method when we set out the audio player we get an instance of the audio player we also assign the audio player dot delegate to be self okay and that should be good to go okay so now let's give this project a try So when we record something and we cancel that and we'll have an alert call finish recording successfully recorded the audio and that is exactly what we are want to do in this one so you see that um, to record and replay the audio is really easy it's just some it just maybe seems like a lot of code because just um, there are a lot of things to set up but the real code the real thing is just some play cancel and record method each of those is just have some audio recorder dot play um, dot record dot prepare something okay so i'll post this complete project in the code challenge code, code hangout whenever you find this video for you to download this one and hope that you will find this um, project useful in your real project maybe you want to enhance the uh, instant messaging apps so that it has the audio recorder send an audio to your friend in your project that's it for this week code hangout i hope that you have been enjoying this project and hope that you will find in some of your personal projects you'll find to implement this feature in your project or you would like to take the how to build an instant messaging app in your, in developers academy and you will set it out as your challenge 
and com uh, implement the record and send the audio to your friend in the how to build an instant messaging app. To find out more about Developers Academy, click this link on the re on the screen right la right now and get your first two weeks for free when you join us. Thank you so much and I'll see you next time.